Okay, hi, Al at Hankster's at Daytona Beach, Florida. And we got another special guest for you on the block here today. 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. And a little different than most of the Roadrunners we have, this one's a convertible. Very rare car. They only made a few hundred of these cars. Look it up. They're very, very low production. This car is original as you could possibly, possibly find one. Uh, it has all the original serial numbers on it. It has a VIN uh, funder tag on it. VIN still stamped in the uh, radiator core support, showing the car's never been in any trouble. This particular car has a 24-inch uh, radiator as opposed to the 26, which designates that it would have a 323 gear from the factory. Um, but it does show it on the, uh, uh, the trim tag. It is the correct numbers matching 383 Roadrunner Hypo engine that this car came with. This is the one that it was born with, not a restamp. It has a press light distributor, uh, AVS uh, carburetor on it, the correct exhaust manifolds, cast iron, and they show absolutely no uh, wear or any rust uh, at all on them. Very, very nicely done, uh, high temp coated. Uh, have power steering. No power brakes on this car, Mopar, you don't really need them. 11 by 3s in the front, 11 by 2 and a half in the back. They'll stop as good as anybody else's discs in that era. Car's incredible underneath the hood here. Original cast iron intake manifold. Uh, everything on this car appears to be original. I don't see anything that's been modified or, or changed underneath this hood. Even has the original sound deadener pad on it. You got a real nice, authentic 69 Roadrunner engine, mechanicals, everything for this car, 1969, and it's all numbers correct. Okay, we're going to take a little bit more time and go over this car a little more thoroughly because it is a higher dollar car, and it's a very special car that, that you know, we want to present as detailed as we possibly can to show you what you're buying. Uh, the paint on the car is just, it's the correct color green, ivy green. Uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, looks a foot deep, semi-flat black stripes, just the way they would have come from the factory as an option, which shows on the tag. Uh, the, the, the paint, the hood, the fit, finish, as you can see, the gaps, uh, the fitment of the hood, everything on this car in the front is just as nice and straight as can be. Where most of the grill shows some wear and, and some uh, um, deterioration of the anodized finish on the uh, uh, front of these cars. This one has none. It doesn't show anything, even around the headlights. No chips from stones being knocked up onto it or anything. Front bumper, as you can see, is just the crumbs a foot deep. The alignment is astronomical on this car. Everything is aligned as it should, better than it ever was from the factory, I'm sure. Uh, parking lights, nice and crisp and clean, bright looking. Uh, Plymouth on the front. No pits or marks or anything in the chrome. The front end of this car is just absolutely fantastic. It's as, it's as nice as you could ever, ever hope to find uh, a 60s car. This original. Okay, going down to driver's side, you can see that the uh, side marker light is nice and clean and crispy looking. Uh, fender lip molding is really good, the wheel well molding. Uh, paint on the front fender is really, really nice as it goes onto the door and rocker panel. Uh, there's no deviation from the uh, one panel to another. does have the correct Kelsey Hayes uh, 469. They had a trim ring as opposed to being all chrome, but it is Kelsey Hayes 14-inch road wheel with the red line tire, which also shows on the uh, sticker. The um, wiper arms are correct. The wiper blades are correct. Tinted front windshield, you can see that. It's tinted, there's no marks, chips, nothing on it. Again, you, can, you can't see it through the video that Mario will show you, but the dashboard, the, uh, the pad, everything in the dash, which you'll see in his still photos, just totally undisturbed as it was when it was new. Great condition car. And we have our little Roadrunner on the side. Again, no pits on the uh, Roadrunner designation. Correct style. Standard mirror for the uh, uh, driver's side, chrome on a door handle is absolutely beautiful. The interior of this car is outstanding. It's a bench seat, it's black, and the biggie on this one is it's a three pedal car. It's a four speed. And to find a four speed Roadrunner convertible with the correct 
numbers matching engine and it is a Roadrunner. This car is just absolutely over the top. Absolutely over the top. Going down the side again, I'm getting sidetracked here. A little tiny bit of an overhang on the door, just an adjustment. Probably as good as it ever came in 1969. Quarter panel. Trim on the quarter panel, same as the front. Nothing to, absolutely nothing that you could, uh, you could say that there's any marks or chips. Or I can't even see a chip on the paint anymore on this vehicle. The whole way down the driver's side, there's absolutely nothing. Nothing. The top's nice and fresh looking yet. Um, back window's clear. Side windows are tinted also. Great looking car down the driver's side. Let's see if we can find something on the back. Okay, going around the back end of our 69 Road Runner, uh, the uh, tail light basils, uh, argent the way they should be. Uh, no problems at all with the chrome, no pitting at all on them, none. Uh, the trunk, the deck lid you can see just fits as nice as could possibly be. This could go down to here, might have to adjust that. Back bumper, chrome's a foot thick the way it's supposed to be. Our little Roadrunner where he belongs right there in the uh, center of the trunk and back. Roadrunner designation on the back. Correct exhaust tips on this car, just the way they would have been in 1969. Uh, even out the distance that they were been from the factory, not out too far or not under too far. Back end of this car looks as nice as the front end of this car. The paint is literally a foot deep. Uh, there's no distortion whatsoever in the panels. The car's an outstanding uh, example of a 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. This tail light is the same as the other one. Uh, no issues, no problems. The lenses are both crystal clear. Very nice car in the back end. Okay, down the passenger side of our Roadrunner. Um, yeah, this is hanging out there a little bit. I don't know why, but it is. That, uh, the basil around the uh, side marker there needs to be adjusted a little bit. Quarter panel just, again, laser straight. Can't bring a single thing uh, into view there. No marks on this lip either. That's three out of four so far that we, we nailed with no, uh, no issues. Glass in the back, of course, you know, there's no tears or marks or anything on the top. And uh, it's, it's just a nice, uh, nice fit convertible top. It's an older top. It's been on here for a while. A little tiny bit of a tear here on this side. Uh, again, not worthy of a top replacement, but uh, there is a mark there. Something happened. Uh, quarter panel onto the door. This guy's the same as the other one. There's a little tiny bit of an overhang. Again, you know, an adjustment and that's it. Uh, but it's the way they came from the factory. I mean, you can fine tune these things to a degree, but from the factory, these cars never fit right to begin with. They were horrible. Paint on the door, chrome on the handle. Everything is nice and straight as can be. Fits the rocker panel as it should, going up onto the front fender. Roadrunner is the way it's supposed to be. Front fender has the original pentastar in the front. Door to fender is just flawless. I mean, you can't even tell there's a, a, a distance there. Okay, front fender, the paint fit, finish, everything on this car is just exemplary. It would be very difficult to find a, a car straighter than this. There's a couple little adjustment issues, and that's the only thing that I can find on this car. The, uh, the way the doors close, the quarter panels, which are original panels from what I can see, the lighting in the car works, the interior is flawless, um, headrest car, correct steering wheel. Uh, there's, no, there's no issues in this car at all. I can't find a single thing that you can uh, uh, really say anything negative about. The car's just absolutely gorgeous. Roadrunner convertibles aren't that common. They're just like I said, they only made, and when I said a few hundred, I think they actually produced about 700 of them in 1969. Very low production car, not very many of them out there. And to find one with a four speed in a great color combination with all the correct uh, paperwork. By the way, we do have paperwork, which uh, Mario's gonna show you uh, when we do a little bit of a uh, additional video for this car, but we do have all the paperwork for it. Um, go here, report, uh, just pretty much everything for this car. You know, it, it, it's, it's a documented car, correct numbers car, in a fantastic condition. The undercarriage is as nice as the uh, top of this car, which you'll see from the video that Mario shoots on it. And um, it's available here at Hangsters, one of the many cars that we have that's in 
this kind of condition. We try to get as many cars as we can in an over-the-top condition that we can offer our customers so that there's absolutely total satisfaction with everything that they purchase from Hangsters. And this is a good example of that type of merchandise. Okay, hi, Al at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. We're underneath our really, really special 1969 Roadrunner convertible in a four-speed. This thing is just so incredible. Uh, it's ivy green. In fact, you can see a lot of the ivy green paint on the frame, uh, the subframes and the floor pans. This particular car didn't get the uh, splatter sound deadener that most of them did from the factory that was actually an option, but a lot of them they did anyway, but this one doesn't appear to have had it. Uh, this thing is just over the top nice. As you can see, no uh, leaks whatsoever on the engine, the bell housing, or the transmission. A brand new starter on it. You can see the exhaust are also brand new. Uh, it has 11 by 3s in the front for drum brakes, which are better than most people just at this era. Um, heavy duty sway bar, heavy duty torsion bars. It is a date code and numbers code correct engine. You know, I think I stated that. The floor pans themselves and the subframes are just totally untouched. They look like the day they left the factory. No marks, no jack up marks on them or anything. Um, the, uh, the, the, the structural part of the car is just the way it was when it was built in 1969. New shocks on the front. Front suspension, the uh, steering arms, uh, tie rod ends all be, uh, appear to be new. Parking brake cable is still functional and hooked up. Fuel line is still the original fuel line on the car, as are the brake lines heading toward the rear. And again, you can see no leaks. Four speed, no leaks. Linkage is all nice and clean and shiny yet. Speedometer cable is nice. It's not leaking on that uh, point either, which a lot of them do. Uh, floor pans, like I say, are just incredible on this car. Stainless steel exhaust going toward the back. Uh, two and a quarter inch it appears to be. Going into two Flowmaster mufflers. Just a really great car. I don't see anything that's disrupted at all. Your floor pans being still original, you can still see the pinch wells where they go on to the rocker panels on both sides. It's totally undisrupted from the day it was built. Great car. Okay, going toward the back of our uh, really, really neat 69 Roadrunner convertible. Um, as I stated, we have two brand new Flowmaster mufflers with the stainless pipes going into them. Uh, the torque boxes uh, where the uh, front spring perches are, are, are absolutely perfect. There's no uh, dense marks, scrapes, nothing on them. Subframes the same way. No marks anywhere on these subframes. Absolutely nowhere. It's, it, it's hard to believe no one ever jacked this thing up through the years. If they did, they must have used a piece of wood. Even the rear subframes where usually there's a tear uh, from the car being shipped at some point where they hook into the holes in the uh, rear subframes and pull them too tight Inadvertently it tears the metal a little bit. These are still just the way they went, were when they left the factory One more spring in the back on the uh, right due to torque bias than on the left uh, The uh, rear drum brakes uh, two and a half in the back uh, by 11s Air shocks in the rear appears to be a new or it's hard to tell. This, this car is so new underneath, I don't know what's new and what isn't. Uh, it looks like it may be a replacement gas tank, though. There's no marks or scuffs or anything on it. Eight and three quarter heavy duty posi rear end in the car. Uh, two and a quarter inch pipes out the back also into the correct Mopar uh, chrome exhaust tips. The drop downs and the fenders still have the original pinch welds on them. Uh, a great looking car. This car is as new underneath as you're ever, ever going to find one. I can't see anything in this entire vehicle that uh, uh, I can uh, say is a negative. It still has a lot of the original uh, markings on the rear end and the, uh, the transmission and that from the factory yet. This car is really a great example of the 1969 Roadrunner convertible. Very difficult car to find and even more difficult to find in this overall condition. This car is as it was when it was new, and it's available at Hangsters. It's a great buy for somebody, great summer fun. Okay, and to give a lot of credence to what we said about numbers correct, and this being an authentic 69 uh, Roadrunner four-speed car, and it is all numbers correct. Engine, transmission, rear end, everything on this car. 
We also have some limited paperwork with it, timing tag for the uh, camshaft that was installed with the car, uh, a complete rundown of everything on the uh, complete engine rebuild with this particular vehicle, total engine rebuild on it, and also a uh, Govier report breaking down the, uh, the tag and all the uh, options on the vehicle and the number of vehicles produced and everything. So we do have a Govier report. We do have all the paperwork showing the engine rebuild and everything being refreshed, including the timing tag for the uh, camshaft that was installed in it. So you have pretty much everything that came with this car, new, and the documentation showing that it's been freshened up. It's all here.